Hey guys, it's Anaya Douglas, and as you can tell by the title today, we're going to be making our own lip plumper. For this, for this video, we will be using Virgin Cell. Um, so, I already used some of it, but I for what, this is 16 ounces. Um, so, I will leave a link down to them below. Um, ABA Cosmetic Supply. Um, this was fairly cheap. I like them. The shipping was fast, too, and, um... Like I said, I use some, but when I first got it, like they really fill up the um the bags. Like, these are the oils I'll be using: grapeseed oil, 100%, and castor oil. Just these two. Um, a pipette. I would suggest if um depending on a spoon or a popsicle stick, however you want. A syringe. Um, this one is open already because I this is the one I use only for the lip plumper um i would say happier so it's open because i made one before this video just to make sure i know how to make it and that it actually worked um but definitely don't use a syringe for lip plumper and then use it for something else because if the lip plumper gets into another lip gloss then people are gonna have burning because if you know lip plumper burns and then you're gonna need um I got these off of, these are um, flavoring oils, Laurent flavoring oil, peppermint, and then we're going to need cinnamon. Cinnamon is the most important part because that's what really pumps it. Um, I'll leave a link down to this below too. I got it off Etsy. Here's their card if you want to go find them on there. Um, the only reason I use Etsy is because I like to get specific oils. So, and they sell them for like, I think they're like a dollar to change each, so it's really not that bad. You can get them off Amazon, of course, but on Amazon, I never see them single. I always see them in groups, so you get a bunch of different flavors. And just the flavorings don't go with what I be wanting, and I know I'm not going to use them. So, to me personally, I feel like it would be a waste of money. So, I just order the ones that I need off of Etsy and whatnot. And then this is my bow that I use for lip gloss. Um... So this is my backup bow. Usually I use plastic bows, but this is just a little glass jar. Clean it out and whatnot. So yeah, and then I just got this little tool just to throw it in. Um, in this video, I won't be wearing gloves because I'm not selling it. It's literally just for me. Yeah, I already made one, but I'm just making one for the purpose of this video. I am considering adding lip plumper as well, but we'll see. So since I'm only making one, I don't need that much virgin oil. I'm going to just pour a little into the bowl. So, y'all not gonna really, like, see me do it. I'm gonna have to bring it up to y'all, because, like I said, I don't have much of a setup in this, in where I'm staying in right now. So, it's, like, it's kind of complicated. But, just know, I'm not using that much virgin stuff. I'm how much I put. It probably won't fill the whole tube, but I really don't like that. So, I'm gonna just put a little bit of grapeseed oil up in there and then some castor. I can show you this part. Just a tad bit. Like, a few droplets. Because since it's not that much, Okay. I never measure how much oil I put into my lip gloss. I just put them and mix it until it gets the consistency that I personally like. Next, you're going to get your oils. One thing I'm going to say, be careful with the cinnamon. The first time I made this, I didn't know that this little thing, this little bottle was that strong. I put way too much in there and I literally like, I thought I burnt my lips off. Like, it went numb. Like, when I tell you do not put too much, my bottom lip went numb. So, when I say this is why you need a pipette or I mean, a tiny syringe if you got one. Because with the cinnamon, like that's that's too much. I mean, if you're making a big batch, it may not be. But the cinnamon, like be careful. Even when you smell it, it's strong. So, when I say be careful, be careful. So, I'm, just, I'm not even going to use all this. Like I told y'all, be careful because my whole lip, my whole bottom lip literally went down. So I put five drops 
Now I'm going to mix it up. Hopefully it's not too strong. Put the top on. Like I said, they are really tiny. But the fact that the scent is so strong, you don't need that many drops. Like, me personally, when I use TKB Trader, like I bought their strawberry scent. I felt like I had to put so many drops in there for the smell to actually be there. Now we get the peppermint. So if you don't want to do peppermint to cover up the scent, you can use another one. But I just went with peppermint because, like, most lip, um, what's this called? Lip plumpers be having, like, you know, like a peppermint scent. So I was just like, eh, why not? So peppermint oil. Peppermint oil, you're going to need a bit more because you're covering. That's a lot. You're covering, you're trying to cover up the cinnamon scent. But, 10 drops of peppermint in that one. I got these tubes off of Amazon, by the way. That's where I get all my tubes. I feel like that's the cheapest place to buy them. I mean, my syringe, I do the squeeze method. Some people do put a pipette in there and do it. Um, I think with like the squishy tubes, there's no need to do that unless you have like lipstick tube. Then that's when it comes in handy. But other than that, I personally don't see the reason in doing all that. Oh my God, it wasn't up. I'm gonna put my ah my stopper on there. Put my two. And that is how you make your own. lip plumper oh my gosh i literally forgot the name for a quick second okay well all my social media will be linked down below if you watched my last video you know i have a lot of new stuff that i'm adding to the site so keep a lookout for that um and yeah thank you for watching